This is so silly. Yeah. Alrighty, video gamers, we now have the coolest character in the game fighting against, I don't know, some, some fucking nerd. So I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's Pokemon trainer. On, on uh, recording, next. because thank you. Yeah, Am one I minute. hot? Remember Dara, one minute, because you can't say curses one minute into a YouTube video. Wait, am I am I hot? Yes. Oh, I I didn't know that. Okay. That being said, uh, and Dan the man. Every time I have to pronounce us tag, I just feel so uncomfortable doing so. Ah, uh, what are you doing, baby boy? You know that's Ivy Soil. You know that's Ivy Soil. You know when he sees Ness putting his double jump, he says, "Haha, down it go." Brrr. Oh, that's a sweet spot. And he gets the grounded down air into the up air. Could have definitely got a bit of a bigger punish, but you know what? Very, very respectable percent. Goes for the juggles and is able to get the PK Thunder Frame Trap. Dan the man, you know better than that, buddy boy. You really shouldn't be air dodging into nests like that. That's a tough one. Ah. Poor little Squirtle off stage. Tries to go through the spike, but nice. High recovery coming from Dan. Just able to uh, decide you right back on. Tries to go for the frame shot, but is only able to get the tail hit on Dan the Man. Really good call out though. He had the right idea, but just definitely mispositioned himself for it. Could have angled his PK Thunder very differently. Please don't neutral get up into that. For the dear love of God, I have seen too many friends and foes perish to that. I I, I love it and I also hate it. Gonna go for another PK Thunder. Just circulating around Charizard. Wow. Unfortunately, this ain't melee, buddy. Can't only really shield drop. You have to drop shield and then drop down. Super, super tough. Ooh. That was terrifying. Uh, has to find a way to get back onto the stage without burning his double jump like that. That is so risky, brother. Be careful. Yeah, neutral, you're not going to be able to take it quite yet. Nice recovery, throwing Ness off stage. This is definitely Dan's stock to take. Wow, grounds Ness through his upbeat. It's still able to get the F tilt. Dan, what a steal. Um, now he has momentum on his side. The next hit that Ness does can easily kill, beat a neutral air, uh, a back air, even a forward air if he got an edge guard with it. Side note, by the way, this is best of five. Mm, okay. I have a headache. Oh my god, that he SD. Spooked him. He spooked them hella hard. He didn't he was, blast. He was shaking and crying. He says oh. his thumb slipped. Oh no, your thumb slipped. If only there was a controller where uh, your fingers won't actually slip off of the analogs as invented by Hacks Money and titled The Box. If only such a such an amazing and miraculous and life-changing chilling. <sighs> At least don't show so obviously. <laughs> but I'm passionate about it. Listen, <laughs> I'm not. I'm passionate about food, I'm passionate about boxes, and I'm also passionate about uh, metals. As in, like, cookware and knives. So, I think that's where my passions begin. Oh, and Ness, obviously. I don't think I'm that passionate about other stuff, though. That's fair. You can be passionate about it, but this is not really the right venue to be, uh, to be advertising your products. You're right. You're right. I just, I'm just spreading the word. They call me Jesus. Uh, losing his stock a little bit early, uh, a little bit prematurely. Gonna be actually still interacting with the flow blitz there. Kind of unfortunate. Oh no, I was losing all of his stock so early. 
definitely like a little bit unfortunate to see. Uh, gonna be catching the goal in. I think, uh, which we call him, Dan, uh, inputted a goal there. Either he just dropped shield. That being said, I need to be a little bit more careful about the way that he's burning his double jumps. Um, because honestly, no character really punishes him better than Ivysaur. And when you're off stage as Ness without a double jump against Ivysaur, you really don't have a whole lot of tools to contest against that down air. Like, again, like, that was such an unnecessary and risky place to put yourself in. I'd like to see him, like... Oh, my goodness. He was at 30% and still on the second stop. Um, but, yeah, no, for sure. Like, he keeps double jumping back onto the stage, and I'd rather that he, like, goes for down air or something, or immediately, like, goes for up or something, or tries to go for a high recovery. Because if you get down air at that point, you can still try to recover again through a vertical angle, or try to double jump and then air dodge right back on. Um... And it's just not working out for him right now. Yeah, burning all of your double jumps like that. Like, at that point as well, right? That's that's the only reason why he lost that stock there. Um, he really needs to make these big adjustments going into game three. Otherwise, he's just going to get clean sweeped 3-0. And we're just going to be moving on to losing his finals. Definitely feel like uh could be a little bit more passive in a matchup, playing a little bit more out of shield. Um, but you know, he seems to be playing neutral fine, but every time that he gets knocked off stage, like it just keeps coming back to this point. Dan the man's been doing a good job of capitalizing on it. Just waiting. That's all he's doing, right? He's playing reactively, he's waiting, he's waiting for the next hit, he's waiting for the next button to be pressed, and uh you know. Game 3, gonna be going to FD. Not entirely sure about us reasoning through this. I feel like the other stages were working fine. It might be a little bit easier to bounce to recover um, on this kind of a stage. Something with flat sides or sloped sides. Something like Smashville or Town and City though. But just because of how thin the actual stage is, uh, you can super, super easily SD. Burning his double jump once again. Come, tries to come back unaggressively. He's not going to be able to get the double up air because he drifted a little bit too much towards the left. How is he going to be able to fight his way out of the corner? Fantastic parry. Um, for sure, he tries to get the jump call out. Not able to get the drag down up air. He positioned himself for it. And thus, he was unable to follow up. Happens sometimes. It's like really character and weight specific and model size specific. For sure. Good wait from Dan, just able to clank with the hitbox on his way down. A fantastic landing option. That is hilarious. Charizard, oh no. Charizard doesn't even like hit through it. He just interacts with it and bounces off. You have to be very, very careful about that because I believe that only happens at startup. Um, otherwise, I think Charizard might just be able to power through it. That being said, Dan still able to even it up quite a bit. Good coverage with the falling nail after this forwarder. Try to catch in a dash and anti air attempt from Dan the man. He has no jump, and he's off stage against Ivysaur. Mm, nicely angled just to be able to get the bounce to get back onto stage. Nicely spaced up beat from Dan the man. He's very comfortable in this matchup, um, as well just to be able to circumvent the yo yo like that. Mm, tries to go through the jab lock setup, is not able to find it. That could be the stock sometimes. Down tilt magnet F smash on Charizard <laughs> really might take it. Ness has definitely some of the most potent and powerful jab lock setups. Unfortunately, he really lacks like the mobility to be able to like sort of run up and catch those mistakes often. But when Ness finds those, he finds those. Yeah, damn the man, wow. Completely in Oz had to just just you know, he ran up, dashed up super, super aggressively, and uh, panic rolled back. That was just brilliantly played. Waited for the yo-yo, you know, uh, thinking that he could steal a stock, but then the man, oh, like, just really, really comfortable with it. What is that option coverage? That was fantastic. Mm, still able to get that double forward in. Right now, Uz standing on his last legs, gets knocked off stage against Ivysaur just once. Dan has established that he is so potent 
and probably for that edge goading Ness. But mm, that was a really, really smart idea to go for the PK fight because it actually can stop Ivy Soily like as he is snapping back onto the stage with his Vine Whip. Mm. He needs to not commit to an option here because Chozo can easily go for the Flail Blitz. Rolling is not the wave though. A get up attack would have been much more in order. What a stall attempt with that PK flash. I don't know if he had intended to do that. <gasps> he stole that. I don't know why Dan didn't press a button. I really thought that he would have like neutral out or forward out or something. He was so close. He almost had that too. Yeah. He could have definitely tech that as well. Not sure why he didn't go for it, but you know what? He just had to press a button, a neutral, or a back, or, or anything at that point would have killed Ness. But just because of that one game, you know, just because of that one interaction, um, you know, uh, can just as easily make the comeback here. I didn't see like a whole lot of this game. I feel like O was in a lot less circumstances where he had to go cover, but definitely like having the diagonal slopes of Final Destination helped him out quite a bit, um, since he was just able to move around Ivy so he's down it a little bit more, um, and just to be able to bounce on the sides. Um, that was definitely extremely helpful. Huh? And chat <laughs> saying the game was reported wrong. <laughs> Oh no. Oh gosh, darn it. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Oh no, I have to read. Ugh, how do I do this? I have to reset the whole set, man. Wait, you're not, as a moderator, you're not allowed to go and smash GG and just individually change, like, the result of one game. You no, have to reset the not. entire set and reset. go through, like, the stage strikes and all that. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> nice. Game number four. Uh, is standing on his last legs once again. Down two to one. Um, I kind of feel like he kind of maybe stole that game a little bit. I don't know why Dan was so hesitant to press a button at the very end there. Um, but... Yeah, I'm gonna be gonna get right back to Smashville. Once again, like, having Ivy so he's down here on this kind of stage. He's burning his double jump once again, but this time he goes through the high recovery, mindful that Dan is actually under him. So he has no risk, or at least a lower risk, of uh, burning his double jump like that. And he goes through the high recovery once again, this time understanding that Charizard is out. If he's going to punish him for it, um, you know, it's much more difficult. But the falling nail, having such a generous hitbox, he goes for the last lick. That is a very, very smart uh, thing to do. You know, it might just be a little bit, but you could always get a little bit more damage on your opponent just to optimize. Charizard actually low profiling after landing with that up B. Uh, definitely a curious interaction. Mm, tries to lead the jump out of shield. Maybe he was just smashing. I don't know. Uh, not able to find it. Oh my goodness. He definitely missed it. Uh, what are you doing, buddy? Please be a little bit more careful. Back throws him right off stage. Dan just waiting it out perfectly. He landed just in time for the PK Thunder to dissipate. Um... Oz being like super aggressive with some of these air dodges. Honestly, Dan can play a whole lot more reactionary than he is right now. And he's already doing it super well, but Oz burning all of these resources right in his face. Is that down smash gonna be able to take it? Yes, it is. Dan actually ended up buffering an option, buffering that neutral air out of hit thunder. And that definitely came back to just bite him in the butt. Nice double jump into the switch. Uh had instinctively just gone for the neutral air there. 
How's he gonna get back onto the stage? Goes for the double jump magnet into the up air and still was able to clank with up smash. That was definitely an odd in action. Gets Charizard off stage, but look at this timing and waiting for him, Dan. Oh. Ugh. That being said, Dan takes it 2 1 over R. Uh, a very clean 2 1. Uh, excuse me, 3 1. Yeah, I feel like he just kind of outplayed him every step of the way. Just sort of waited for R. Uh, R uh, got really, really nervous, especially with some of his recovery. Um. This. Not gonna lie, the set looked kind of rough. With that being said, that means Dan the Man is gonna be moving on to losing his finals, uh, where he will be fighting off against who's he gonna be fighting? Joshathan G. Joshathan G. So for the top three, as of right now, we are gonna be having Isabel, Rob, and uh, Pokemon Trainer. So we have a nice little bit of character diversity going.